Our mission at Puget Sound Kidney Centers is to enhance the lives of those with kidney disease through outstanding dialysis care, education, and community support. In partnership with the community, we're making a difference in the lives of those we serve. A chronic kidney disease diagnosis can be overwhelming for many, but with early detection, there are things you can do to help prevent its progression. Welcome to the fifth class, Survive and Thrive, Survive and Thrive with, with Chronic Kidney Disease is a free education program that helps people with early stages of chronic kidney disease learn how to make some lifestyle and nutrition changes to help them hopefully slow down the progression of their disease as long as possible. With diabetic diagnosis at 18, kidney disease was one of the things I was most worried about. And so the prognosis for me was frightening. And when your nephrologist announced that you were at a particular stage, she just broke down and just cried. One of the most surprising things I learned from the class was that kidney disease is not a death sentence. That education and knowledge are what empower us. I just came in with the fear and the dread and the doom. And when I left, I felt like I can do this. I've got help, I've got support. After the first class, I was sold. Every week, I was just anticipating and waiting to see what we were going to learn next. And the cooking classes were incredible because we then were able to put that knowledge to work and to be able to go home and make the changes we needed to make. For our patients with kidney failure, Puget Sound Kidney Centers provides quality and compassionate dialysis care in beautiful state-of-the-art centers. From the care environment that we provide to the compassionate care that the nurses and technicians and physicians deliver on a daily basis, these patients know that when they come to our care environments, they're going to receive the high-quality care based on love and compassion. I found out that I had kidney disease. I was in shock. My first concern was what was going to happen to my family. In 2000, I got a call for a kidney transplant. From there, I had 12 good years of life with a transplanted kidney. About five years ago, my kidneys failed again. I spent a lot of time understanding and improving my knowledge and decided that one way that I could do something to help others was to donate time with other patients at Puget Sound Kidney Center. What I've experienced at Puget Sound Kidney Center is that you develop a sense of family. You see them three times a week and you develop a very close relationship. It's important to us that these patients know that we care because sometimes the touch that we give them may be the only touch they get that day. Our goal is to support a patient's long-term health. Some patients are fortunate enough to be able to receive a transplant, and our job is to help them get in the best condition possible to receive a donated kidney. When I first found out that I had kidney disease, I showed up at the ER with 25 pounds of water weight on my body and my blood was toxic. Within two days, I had a port in my neck and I was doing dialysis. Out of the hospital, I had been referred to Puget Sound Kidney Centers. They'd given me a lot of pointers, told me a lot of what not to do. And having that kind of foundation to go from really led to my success. To get my father's kidney was was insane. My dad hadn't even hesitated. He said if he could, he'd give me both. The future for me, I, I want to learn how to cook professionally. I, I think it would be really cool if I could learn how to be an animator. In the future, I want to pursue some of the things that I wasn't able to. So on behalf of the patients, the approximate 550 patients we treat on a daily basis, we say thank you. We thank you for your support, for your help, because without it, we wouldn't be able to do all that we do. Thank you.